Hi everyone. Hi everyone. Today we have a special guest to our YouTube channel. We're interviewing Khadija, who is an alum of our school. She is、um, of the class of 2019. Khadija, welcome. Could you please introduce yourself? Yes, of course. I'm happy to be here. I'm Khadija. I graduated from Emma Willard in 2019. And I went to Bard College in、um, Hudson, New York, and I studied environmental and urban studies. And right now, I am at MIT. I'm doing my masters in urban planning, specifically focused in environmental urban planning. I'm originally from Afghanistan, so I want to focus more on how we can mitigate climate change in developing cities, specifically,、um, which Kabul, where I grew up, is one of those cities. Yeah, I'm happy to be here. Yeah, thank you. Um, so because our YouTube channel is right now focusing on Pakistan, and we're wondering because your family has spent a lot of time in Pakistan, and、mm -hmm. we're wondering how has climate change impacted your family and friends there.、Mm -hmm. I think I have a lot of friends from Pakistan as well, and as you mentioned, my family. Um. Was there for an a year and a half.、Um, the weather there is、uh, really hot. I mean, it's a the temperature is rising insanely, and also my family was in a city, so there was like the heat island effect,、um, where because there's so many, the population is like so there's so many people, and the population is increasing day by day. The city is getting warmer, and also these buildings they're so close to each other, so the high density is affecting that. So the weather was extremely hot. Um, there were days where my family they couldn't even get out of the house because it was so hot. So they would have to do most of the shopping or whatever they need to at, during the night.、Um, but also la in twenty twenty three, my I remember that some of my friends, like their families and friends, were displaced because of the floods that happened in like Balochistan and some parts of.、Um, Uh, Punjab, which are the two states、um, in Pakistan, and th those floods、uh, created a lot of like displacement internally as well as externally. But specifically internally, a lot of people lost their houses, and we we worked on some fundraising efforts to、um, help like、uh, the the people who were being displaced. But that that's just something you do after. Um, it's not like a preventative thing.、Yeah. It's more of like helping the people who are already harmed by the floods.、Um, so I think I think a lot about how can we help prevent these floods from happening, or how can we have like plans in place where these floods don't happen to begin with, rather than at the end of the day like work on fundraiser、um, efforts to help these people who have already been displaced from their houses. Um. So yeah, it's it's been tough for a lot of people who are from there, but、um, at the same time there are a lot of people who are working on finding solutions for um climate mitigation.、Mm, climate change has a big impact on countries in the Middle East. So、mm -hmm. could you tell us more about how it has impacted you and your home? Yeah, I think um, it's mainly there. There are many. Aspects of it. So there's one which is like the agriculture part of it, and it involves more food security. There are a lot of places, specifically when you look at the Middle East or when you look at some parts of like Pakistan or Afghanistan. Um, there are a lot of people that like are suffering from droughts. Um, that's like a big issue, and like they can't grow the food that they used to be able to grow on their lands. So there again, this is creating. Food insecurity as well as displacement, because when they can't, some of these people their main um their main job is farming. That's like how they they have income, how they have food. So if they can't do that, if their land is not giving them what they should be getting, then they move and they go somewhere else. So this is this is creating two issues. One is like food insecurity, another one is、um, displacement, and I think that's something we have been experiencing. Um, even in Afghanistan, a lot of people coming, moving to the cities, and then in return, the cities are getting denser, 
and it's creating the heat island effect. And at the same time, like a lot of the uh, problems that we face in, in Afghanistan or in Pakistan is a lot of waste issues um, because they, we don't have the infrastructure. Um, mm -hmm. You know, like there's no waste segregation. Everything gets burned and everything gets um, landfilled. There's no like compost, proper composting or proper waste segregation or recycling. If there is, it's very minimal. Mm -hmm. comparing it to the entire countries uh, other countries so there's we are even contributing to this um to the greenhouse gas uh emissions um but very little like yeah. you know countries yeah. a lot of the countries who are um a lot of poor countries um and countries who are affected uh, by climate change contribute very very little to climate change um countries who contribute a lot are you know bigger countries where they have a lot more infrastructure and are completely industrialized um yeah 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 definitely there's this is also something that we've been talking about in our videos uh, like the major carbon producers are like china the u.s but uh, a lot of developing countries are very affected by the yeah. They are carrying the burden for sure, whether it's financially, whether it's uh, in terms of food or displacement. Uh, I mean, a lot of people are displaced, as I mentioned, because of the climate change. But then these big countries that are causing it, that are causing the emissions to go high, that are causing climate change, they are they are saying, we don't want refugees or we don't want immigrants. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's kind of, it's a real crisis that we need to tackle early on. Otherwise, it's going to get really bad. And I think it has already gone really bad.